for an efficient schedule, you may choose to experiment over and over again until you find the right one. What if I can introduce you to an analysis tool where you can optimize your schedule based on your minimum or maximum objective? Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA-related answers. Our discussion today is about schedule optimization in Excel. We will share four cases how you can use the Excel Solver add-in to get the perfect schedule with details. For this purpose, we have used Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. First, we need to know about Excel Solver. For the starter, it is a Microsoft Excel add-in program. Being part of the What If Analysis tools, it helps to test different scenarios. For decision-making issues, it gets you the most reliable solution. We will get it in the Data tab under the Analysis group. If you don't have it like us, let's enable it together. Go to File tab, select Options. From these options, choose Add-ins. Below the window, select Excel Add-ins from Manage Selection drop-down. Hit Go button. Here, from these four add-ins available, check mark on this Solver Add-in box. Hit OK. It will get you the Solver option in the Analysis group. But you don't know how to use it? Let's get a short idea about it. There will be an objective, which will depend on the changing variable cells. Considering constraints or criteria, you need to mention the exact reference for this and a solving method to get an optimized schedule. Still confused? Let's see the cases to get a better idea. Let's create a weekly schedule manually. We have added a title creating weekly schedule in the merge cell B2 to I2. In cell B5, let's type 8 a.m. Now, let's use fill handle to drag it to B14. We will get 5 p.m. now. On B4, add column title as time. In C4, let's add the week names. Monday, Tuesday, now we can just use fill handle to drag it till I4 so that we get Monday to Sunday. Now let's add all borders for B4 to I14. All borders. Now let's add some formatting. Let's bold it, font to 12, center and middle align, and let's use this as fill color and for this let's just bold them and use this color as fill now inside these cells you can add any of the tasks as you require let's say breakfast here and let's say break here on this template we will calculate the minimum number of telephone reservation operators. In cell J5 to J8, we will use the solver tool to get the optimum number of employees required for each shift. We used orange fill for these cells. We will add the total number of employees for all the four shifts. In these cells, notice 1 is for present and 0 is for absent. The four shifts and the six shifts that coincide with each other for employees have one and others have zero. C11 to H11 has the requisite for a minimum number of workers for the task each shift. We have formatted them in green color. So the total number has to be either equal to them or more than the given criteria. So we need to know the perfect distribution of workers each shift to meet the criteria and get to know the total number of employees required every day. The pink fill colored cells 
are the formula generated ones. Now in cell J11, let's use a formula. Sum, click on J5 to J8, enter. In cell C10, let's use a formula using sum product function equals sum product. So our first array will be the number of employees, which is J5 to J8. Use function for or a for key to make it absolute so that it does not change even if we use fill handle or any other method to copy the cells. Second array will be C5 to C8 or workers for this shift. Enter. Now use fill handle to drag the formula till H10. Now you can see from the formula bar that J5 and J8 are constant and the second array has shifted to column D and for this E and so on. Now let's go to the data tab. Under analyze group, let's select solver tool. Here we will choose our objective as J11 to min and changing variable will be J5 to J8. And for constraints, let's click on add. Here self-references will be J5 to J8 and it has to be integer add. Next, C10 to H10 has to be greater than or equal to C11 to H11. Okay, make sure to check this box since we don't need negative values. You can choose other methods apart from simplex linear programming. Click on solve. Here, select OK. Now you can see that each shift has been allotted optimum number of employees and the total number of employees is 86 and the total number for each six shifts are also given here. How amazing results a few clicks can get us, right? Given the minimum number of employees in cell C14 to I14, we will get the employee distribution for each day of the week. All the employees will attend five days at a stretch and have two day break. For seven cases, we have rotated the possibilities of employees attending office where one represents present and zero represents absent. The process is almost similar to our first case. Let's practice it again. In K14, type the formula sum tab, select K5 to K11. Now for C13, type equals sum product tab, select K5 to K11, make it absolute, comma, C5 to C11 enter. Now let's use fill handle to copy the formula till I13. Now from the data tab, let's click on the solver tool. Here our objective will be K14 and we want minimum changing variable cells is K5 to K11. And for the constraints, add K5 to K11 as in desert, add C13 to I13 will be greater than or equals C14 to I14. Okay, now make sure you keep this box checked so that we do not get any negative value. You can choose other methods. We have chosen simplex linear programming solve. Okay, now you can see that we have got the minimum number of employees for each of the weeks and the total number for each week is also calculated here. So our objective to calculate minimum number of employees is successful and the number is 20. This case is to minimize the salary for employees. We need to pay $150 for the first five workdays and $350 for an additional day afterwards as overtime. Now we don't need all the workers working overtime and we can't even pay all the employees as well. 
So we need to get the optimum number of employees that we can pay accordingly, but to the minimum as expenditure. Table C4 to I11 is the attendance in seven different possible scenarios where we are considering one day for holiday. Next, table M4 to S11 is the payment for the corresponding days. We will get the optimum number of employees each day in K5 to K11 by the solver tool. K16 will show you the number of total employees present throughout the week. Q16 is our objective that will ensure the minimum expenditure spent on employee salary. Let's insert some formulas so that the solver tool can give us precise data. In cell C13, let's type equals sum product tab. Our first array will be K5 to K11. Use F4 to make it absolute so that it cannot be changed in case copied, comma, C5 to C11, enter. Now use fill handle to copy it till I13. In cell M14, type equals sum product in the same way. Tab K5 to K11, make it absolute, comma, M5 to M11, enter. Since we have already formatted this in currency format, it's showing in currency format. Let's drag it till S14. Now in cell K16, let's try some function tab. It will add total values from K5 to K11. Enter. And for objective, equal sum now M14 to S14. Enter. Now let's go to the data tab and choose the solver tool. Here set objective as Q16 and since we are going to minimize our changing variables will be K5 to K11 and our constraints add K5 to K11 as integer add. Next C13 to I13 will be greater than or equals C14 to I14. Okay. Make sure to check this box since we don't need negative values you can choose other methods apart from simplex linear programming solve okay now you can see that we have different values which represent the presence of employees for each day of the week corresponding to that we can see that the total salary for each of the days in week is also given here so total number is showing the total amount of employees and our objective is showing the total value of salary which is eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars here we have 22 employees now we want to figure out if there is any distribution possible that will ensure maximum number of days for employees let's use this solver to optimize our schedule table c4 to I11 represents the attendance where we are considering two days as holiday and seven separate cases. Next table M4 to S11 is the weekend days or off days for the corresponding cases in the first table. We will get the optimum number of employees each day in K5 to K11 by the solver tool. S13 will show us the total number of the employees from these cells. S14 is our objective that will show the maximum weekends of for employees. Let's insert some formulas so that the solver can give us precise data. On cell C13, sum product tab K5 to K11, use F4 to make it absolute, comma, C5 to C11, enter. Let's use fill handle to copy the formula till I13. Now, for this cell, use sum product, tab, K5 to K11, make it absolute, comma, R5 to R11, since we're considering two weekends. Enter. Copy the formula for N14 as well. Now, for the total number, we will use sum function, 
which will get us the total value from k5 to k11. And for objective equals sum m14 and n14, which is our weakens value. Now let's go to the solver tool. From data tab, select solver tool. Here our objective is s14. Now we need maximum number of weekends. So we have to choose max. Changing variables will be k5 to k11. And for constraints, add k5 to k11 has to be integer first. Add. Then c13 to i13 has to be greater than or equal c14 to i14. Next, total number or S13 has to be equal to 22, since our total number of employees is 22. Okay. From here, you have to make sure that this box is checked so that there are no negative answers. You can change any other method. We are using simplex linear programming. Solve. Okay. See? For each days of the week, there are number of employees, which brings us to the total weekends. And summing them up, we get the objective, which gives us the maximum number of weekend days off with fixed number of employees. From these four cases, you can understand that schedule optimization isn't that difficult. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.